Hi trainers, today I'm sharing another trick for Pokemon Unite and that's how to score faster. I will show you how to use this trick, how fast it is, how to strategize with this trick, and I'll also be sharing my research on what I found with scoring. I'm Teets, I'm a master player in Pokemon Unite and my goal is to help you become the very best like no one ever was. If you like more tricks using Pokemon Unite, feel free to subscribe and click the bell. I'm always testing and trying things out to find tricks to share with you. I'm not the original finder of this trick, I have no idea who it was, but it just has been shared around by various other players. Okay, let's jump into it. First of all, a huge thanks to my Discord community members for helping me test this. If you'd like to join the Discord, it is linked down below. So what I found out is that you can actually score faster depending on the number of teammates you have on the goal zone. It's actually insane and so incredibly fast. First, I check if your score rate matters. So I tested this on a Wigglytuff who has a 2 star scoring rate and Absol has a 2.5 star scoring rate. And no, it doesn't seem to make a difference. So I have no idea what the scoring star rates actually mean, but maybe it means how easy of a time they have scoring. I have no idea. I really don't know what this stat means. I then checked if levels make a difference, like if you score faster depending on your level, and no, that also doesn't seem to make a difference. On a level 12 and a level 15 Absol, it took the same amount of time to score 50 points. Okay, now let's jump into the really, really interesting part. I tested this all with 50 points because that's the maximum you can hold, but the timer would be a lot less if you had less points. On your own, it takes 5.20 seconds. With one teammate, it takes 3.39 seconds. With two teammates, it takes 3.12 seconds. And with all of your teammates on the goal zone, it takes a super duper short 1.42 seconds. That's literally less than 2 seconds to score 50 if you had your whole team with you. And even so, from 5.20 seconds to 3.39 seconds with just having one teammate on the goal zone with you is still so good. Obviously, a majority of us do not play in pre-made five-man parties, and I do feel that this trick benefits five-man more because you can communicate with each other. However, you can still utilize this well in solo, duo, and trio queues, even if you cannot communicate with everyone on your team. So if you're not in a five-man party and you can see a teammate who was a random trying to score or you're scoring yourself, just wait there until they're done scoring. You could try to keep enemies off them, but just stay on the goal zone so they can score quickly and you can get out of there faster. Obviously, if you're like a Pokemon who can zone really well, so maybe you're Crossle and you're pushing all of them away from you while you're scoring, that might be beneficial too. But just standing on that goal zone with your teammate to help them score faster, it does depend on how many enemies you have around there and if your teammate has score shield or not, but it can be better to just zone there if there are too many enemies around it may not be worth the risk if you get taken out from the enemies while trying to score since it is very easy to stop someone scoring just by dealing damage or crowd controlling them. You could also strategize this against teams who are defending against you or if you lost Zapdos and you want to try and get some more points in while they're scoring. Usually the enemy team will return to base after scoring points in with Zapdos to defend their goal zones so that does make it harder for your team to score. If you have a teammate that has 50 points it may be best to just all rotate with that teammate and all stand on the same goal zone to try and help them get it in faster. I found this particular thing very interesting. I timed how long it would take for an enemy to jump on their goal zone to defend and it actually takes longer to jump there. And this is if they're already standing there. The results I got was 2 seconds and if there are 5 people on the goal zone, it will take 1.42 seconds to score. This obviously benefits 5 men pre-mades more because it is pretty hard to get all your randoms on one goal zone, especially if they do not know this strat. But if you have one teammate that has score shield and hopefully they have 50 points, this strat with less teammates on the goal zone should still help. Usually when you land on a goal zone from the jump pad, it will knock up the enemy and prevent them from scoring. Score shield actually prevents that. If the player has it and someone jumps on the goal zone from the jump pad, the player scoring with score shield will not be knocked up. So this does buy you even more time to get that goal in. If you have an ally who has score shield, try to stand on that goal zone as well to help them score faster before their score shield gets taken down. Honestly, this strat to me makes score shield even better. You can still reap the benefits of this trick even if you're not in a 5-man party. And even in early game, if you have less points and you do this strat, it's going to be even quicker because you have less points to score. So for me, I definitely will be utilizing this more now. I play mostly in solo queues and duo queues. Basically, you can help out your randoms with scoring just by sending on the goal zone with them. It gives you a higher chance to get that score in and resulting in more points for your team. So that's all for today's video. I have many more tricks which I will link down below if you'd like to check them out. Other than that, mobile release is very soon, so I will be focusing my content for the time being to prepare our new players joining us, so there'll be lots of guides for that. This will help us have a little bit of a better time with new players, and I'm very excited to see how Pokemon Unite grows. Subscribe and click the bell for more Pokemon Unite guides using gameplays. Like the video if you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching, trainers. Bye!